Let us see how the formation of a distance time graph works when the body is moving with uniform speed. Now, when the body moves with a uniform speed, the distance covered by it in equal time frames is equal. So let's say you were given data wherein the time in hours is given and the distance in kilometers is also given. Let's say the time is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 hours and the distance is 40, 80, 120, 160 and 200 kilometers. Okay. Now if you want to kind of form a chart or a graph about this then basically let's say you draw this like this. Please forgive me for these uh, boxes not being exactly the way this is. Okay. So you will show time on the x-axis. Okay. And you show distance on the y-axis. So let's say the distance is represented like this. So it's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180 and 200. Okay? And let's say the time in hours is like something like this. A bit easy to draw. Now let's start plotting these points. So when the time is one hour, the distance is 40 kilometers. So time is one hour, distance is 40 kilometers. So the point A is going to lie here. Time is 2 kilometers, distance is 80 kilometers. Time is 3 hours, distance is 120. Time is 4 hours, distance is 160. So 160 Time is 5 hours, distance is 100. So we draw another point here. Now when you draw this line, you will notice that this is a straight line. Okay? Which shows the relationship between distance and time. Now let's say someone were to ask you, you know, where was car at 2.5 hours time. So that becomes very easy when you have these graphs. So you see when was the time elapsed 2.5 hours. So it would be somewhere over here. So you just draw a straight line from this, okay, which might hit this particular line at a particular point, okay, and then connect that point to the y-axis. So when you connect it, the value that you get, which is 100 in this case, is the distance which the car had covered after 2.5 hours. Now someone can ask you, how long did it take to cover 170 kilometers? So this time you know the distance. So you see where is 170 kilometers on distance. Let's say it lies somewhere here. So you know it to know how much was the time elapsed at that point in time. So how do you do it? Again, you just draw a straight line from this. We should move towards this particular line. Wherever this line stra strikes, draw a line parallel to the y-axis. This is going to hit somewhere here. So the time elapsed is 4.5 hours. So this seems to be the middle of these two. So using these distance time graphs, you can actually find out how much time is taken by the car or any for that matter any object at a particular point in time.